When you install the Tubity extension, you'll see many new buttons and menu on your screen, which might be confusing. In this video, we'll explore how to navigate and discover all the useful tools provided by Tubity on your YouTube channel. Tubity is an extension for YouTube, offering over 70 tools to help you rank higher in searches, gain more views, and boost your productivity by saving time on repetitive tasks. You can download the Tubity extension for free from their website. If you're interested in additional tools, there is a subscription option available. But it's important to note that you already get plenty of free tools while you download the extension. On my channel, you'll find a playlist featuring tutorials on various tools, both free and paid, offered by Tubebuddy to help you make the most of the extension. To start, click the link in the description. It will take you to the Tubebuddy website. There, find the button to download the extension. Click it, then press get. Now sign up with your email. On your new dashboard, we'll look at it later. You can add your channel. For the free account, you can add as many channels as you want. Let's go back to YouTube and see what the extension added to your screen. I also have on my screen the VideoQ extension. This video focuses on the TubeBuddy menus. In other video, I will show how to use VideoQ menus, which have fewer tools than TubeBuddy, and I will compare TubeBuddy and VideoQ. Let's begin with the home page. At the top, there's a new button. When you click it, the entire screen turns white and a big menu you appear. On the left, there are four tabs. The first one is a shortcut to some tools TubeBuddy recommended for you. The second tab shows updates from TubeBuddy. The third tab displays news from the blog. And the last one is for your channel, where you can download all the certificates and achievements you got. I have a detailed video explaining this. You can check it out for more information. On the right side, there is a black menu with a few sections. The first section provides shortcuts links to things you often need when uploading or managing your channel, such as going to the content tab on YouTube Studio, playlists, comments, and analytics. It's handy for quick access. The next section includes extension tools. These are SEO-based actions from TubeBuddy on YouTube itself, providing a shortcut to those tools for faster access. Following that, there's a section with links to tools on your TubeBuddy website dashboard. We'll explore those after going through all the YouTube tools. My account contains links related to your account, like your dashboard and affiliate program dashboard. Then there is a section for the community, and the last one is get support from them. Just so you know, they respond quickly. Their customer service is very good. When you enter any YouTube video, you'll find a bunch of analytics and tools. On the right side of the video, there's Videolytics by TubeBuddy. It provides analytics for both the specific video and the channel as a whole. This information is valuable for deciding if a topic is suitable for a new video on your channel. You can also copy the tags using the button there. To close this box, click on the arrow on the right side. If you want to explore more tools like Advanced Embed, click on Tools. There is also an option to compare this video to another video using the, its URL. Under the video, you'll find the Tags Cloud button, which is free from TubeBuddy. If you've created can response with TubeBuddy, you can use them for any comment in the comment section. Please avoid spamming the comment section as it's not a good idea for your channel ranking on YouTube. As a free user, you can create one canned comment and if you pay, you get unlimited. When you go into the channel, on the main page, you'll find analytics for the entire channel, allowing you to compare this channel to your channel. Another handy feature is the channel ID, which you can copy for any necessary use. You can also close the analytics if you want to. Let's use the shortcut to the YouTube Studio dashboard. Now you'll notice we still have the TubeBuddy menu button, but there is a new button on the side. This side button will present everywhere in the studio and change when you enter a specific video editing window. Once again, you'll find links to tools they want to highlight. Now let's head to the content tab. When you get more buttons and menu, you still have the top menu and the toolbox on the side, but now you have different options. At the top of the content, you'll see a TubeBuddy logo with the title book and MISC tools. Clicking on it gives you various tools related to managing your video with bulk tasks, saving a lot of time. Some tools here are part of the pro and legend plans requiring payment, but there are more free tools in the other part of the YouTube studio. Next, you'll see a logo button on every video for specific tasks on each video individually. You find many tools across five tabs. The first tab offers quick links to tools 
with some free options like thumbnail analyzer, advanced embed, and pick a winner, which I explain in different videos. The next tab is the Launchpad, a free tool to analyze a specific video and get a list of things to improve its ranking. The third tab provides quick links to analytics for this particular video. Very useful. The fourth tab offers info about the video, allowing you to copy direct links and know the playlist it's on. Check out the tutorial video for details. And it's free. The last tab is for notes. Now, now click on the playlist tab. Here you'll find the TubeBuddy logo on each playlist, but with different option on the first tab. And these are free to use. I also have a video about this. Let's dive into the specific video to explore more TubeBuddy buttons. Again, there's the top menu. On the side, the menu switches to specific tasks you can perform with this video. You'll find a new quick menu on the side, allowing you to edit other video without going back to the content tab. Clicking on any video opens its edit window in this internet tab. So be sure to save changes on this video before moving to another video. On the left side, you'll see the video thumbnail and other TubeBuddy logo, which is the same menu as in the full list of videos. Now let's see what we have on the main video editing section. At the top, there's a shortcut for testing different elements of the video, like another thumbnail or title. This feature works only with a legend subscription. Below the title, there's a title generator, which I find very helpful for making title tighter with small suggestions. Most tools here are for paid members. Next is the chapter editor, a time server that I believe help improve my video ranking on YouTube. You can find a video tutorial in the description. The thumbnail analyzer is free and there's a video about it too. Then you have the thumbnail generator and it's free but limited. And personally, I find it easier to create thumbnails on Canva. So I'm not using it anyway. When you scroll down to the tag box, double tap on any tag and it opens a window with this SEO studio to decide what to do with the tags. This works for free user, but it's limited to three results. I rarely use it because tags are not as important anymore, but I do use the other tag tool they have. Scroll a bit more and you'll find a list of idea for tags. Click on one and it insert it into to the tag box, making the process faster. Don't need to pay up much attention tags, just throw in tags you get from the suggestions. There are also tag tools to copy and translate tags, which are free. Let's go back to the top. On the right side of the main video editing section, you'll find more tools. The upload default is handy to save time on copying and pasting the same information. There are limited options for free users and I have a video about it. Basically, you can create a profile in the setting for the entire channel and apply it to videos with the same description and tags. You can select from the list of profile and choose what you want to change in the video metadata. If you go into the end screen and card editor, you'll find the TubeBuddy button that gives you the option to add a template for cards and end screens. This is a great idea to include both and can help you get more views on your channel. The shortcut makes it faster to add the cards and end screen, ensuring you won't forget them. Now let's explore some more buttons in the YouTube studio. If you're in a specific video, you can navigate to the analytics for that video. There, you'll find a small button offering suggested shorts. You can try this feature for free with five suggestions. And after that, it become a paid option. The suggestions are based on the analytics of the video. So having some data beforehand is necessary for accurate recommendation. In the YouTube editor, there's a button for template card and end screen, which is a time saver if you want to enhance engagement with your content. In the comment tab, you'll find additional feature for responding to comments. You can use editing option like bold and emojis to make the comments stand out. There's also a TubeBuddy logo, providing canned response you created earlier, allowing you to answer questions without repeating the same text each time. If you are in the subtitle tab of the video, TubeBuddy provides suggestions for additional languages that you can use to translate the subtitles based on your analytics. Back on the main dashboard, in the main analytics tab, there's a box with suggestions on when to publish your video. Clicking on the settings tab, you'll notice next to the default upload, there's a TubeBuddy logo. This is for 
additional default uploads that you can utilize while uploading a video or when editing the video afterwards. As a free user, you get one more default upload setting, while paid user can have as many as they want. I've also created a very detailed video about this too. Great, it seemed like we've covered every button and menu of the TubeBuddy extension on YouTube. Now let's head to TubeBuddy dashboard on their website, where you'll find even more tools. Yes, more tools. This extension has a lot of cool features. Click on the top menu in TubeBuddy and find my dashboard. You land on the TubeBuddy website dashboard. If not, just, just sign in with Google and click on my account. On the main dashboard, you'll see all the channels connected to TubeBuddy. From here, you can upgrade your account, but be careful with the right channel choice because you can't change it after upgrading. On the left side, there's a general menu for various tasks. Check out the affiliate program. They have generous and you don't need a paid membership to promote them. Looking at the main dashboard, you can see I have one channel on the legend plan and others on the free plans. On the free plans, you'll notice things you can click on are in bolder color, while what you can't do is grayed out. From here, you can manage action you've taken, such as canned comment and A-B testing. When you enter one of the tools, you'll find the specific channel menu and you can access each tool from the left sidebar. You can also switch channel from the top menu. If you want to return to the main dashboard, click on back to home. If you want to learn how to use each of these tools, whether they are free or paid, you can find a list of videos in the description with the link to download the extension. If you are serious about YouTube, whether you use a free or paid version, this tool is a must to help your channel grow faster. Subscribe and like this video.